Hi everyone, it's Nancy back with another process video for you. Here I am just sorting out my supplies for this layout. I'm going to um, scrap three photos. I'm using the Maggie Holmes um, paper collection. I'm just trying to use um, up a lot of my 12x12 12 12, um, pads. So here I have um, three photos as I said. One is landscape and two are portraits. I'm going to use a similar design that I used before when I had um, three photos of this configuration and I'm just using that brick paper um, to map my photos on um, I, so I don't really want to see the um, the brick but it just added as good um, background here I've got um, my trees of Collins 6x6 paper pads that I'm trying to use um, I'm going to take a variety of um, papers out of here just to try and um, layer up my clusters and this piece I cut I cut off from one of those and I was going to use the um, the white bit because it said something about destination um, but I decided that white is far too stark um, for this so I decided that I'm going to use a bit of this blackboard um, or chalkboard effect um, I actually do end up cutting this a little bit small despite all my fussing here. So I used a Project Life card before for that bit but this time I'm just going to use a little bit of paper and then create my cluster in that corner. Um, I'm sure um, there's other ways that I can use um, this kind of configuration of photos but um, again it's kind of like one of my go-to um, layouts and I kind of think you know even though the photos are laid out in the same way um, it doesn't mean that the layout is going to look anything um, like this so the other one I um, I did in this format was a previous process video called um, sit and stare and really at the end of the day they look nothing alike so here I am just taking out um, one of the pale grey doilies and at this point that I cut off that white um, border there and off that top piece just because I feel it's too distracting um, because I'm going for the more muted tones and I just spread that doily down over the two um, bottom parts there so I'm just going to take all of these bits off and um, get my distress inks out um, as you can see I have quite a few but I don't actually use them that much so this is the weathered wood and I'm just using that plus stamp to create a diagonal um, kind of pattern across the paper. And I really love this stamp. As I said um, in my last layout, I believe it's it's coming my favourite. And this is the bundled sage. Um, so I'm just using that that roller. Um, I did manage to get um, a black ink, which is one that I was um, running out of. Um, but I'm also thinking I might um, get a stays on um, black ink. I have never had a stays on, but I have noticed when I try, you know, when I try and stamp on some of the stickers, they're a little bit shinier. Um, so I might get that. And here I am using one of my only Mr. Hueys um, in its classic tan. And I don't know why I used it because it doesn't dry properly, and I really don't like it. But I'm trying to use it up and I say I wanted just a nice brown, I didn't have another brown ink so um, just working out where I'm going to stick that cluster and then I'm just getting the main sort of base bits down I was just adding similar colours to each cluster and I'm going to cover up that little um, sort of gap there anyway so it's just adding the doily into each of those places and as you can see that background stamping you know barely shows at the top there but I was thinking about using that cut apart sheet but again because the papers are so um, you know they've got such a bright white base that I decided that's really not going to work so I think I'm just going through my stash trying to find everything um, that I might um, have. I do apologise um, if the um, video jumped a little bit earlier. 
Um, my memory card was full. I forgot to delete the last <laughs> couple of videos off. So here I am just thinking, um, okay, I'm going to layer up some tags. Going through some of my scraptastic bits and pieces. I take out these two, um, I suppose they're supposed to be kind of blackboard, but they're kind of just like vinyl um, circles, really. So I'm going to add those um, behind the doilies. I'm just trying to work out. I do fuss quite a bit with this um, cluster here. Um, just using one of those Amy Tangerine labels. And again, I cut down that um, vinyl just to stick in um, the clusters. I'm just going through all the bits and pieces that I've pulled out. Um, you've seen me pull this out several times, and um, this is the. Um, I think it's called, is it Hey Boy, Hey something rather? Um, it's a basic grey um, sticker sheet. And I have been trying to use these stickers up. Um, so I take off that tag one. Um, I turn that one round because it has the same red in it. Um, hey You is the collection, I can just see it there. Um, and I take off that little um, red ampersand as well. So just to sort of bring those sort of three red elements in there. So I've then just clustered those tags, and then I just pull another tag off to add to that top cluster as well. And again, I'm, re I'm really glad that I got to <laughs> I stuck with it and used that adventure tag. So here I am just adding this vinyl um, circle bits to the bottom there. Um, that tag had come out of the Urban Traveller Simple Story, so I'm just going through seeing if there's anything else and this sticker sheet that I may use. So I've taken off those individual chevrons. I pull out this um, sort of postal map print arrow. Um, I did try and use this arrow but it just looked a bit weird, um, this layout. Um, it's a bit too graphic for this layout I think. Um, so this working out where I'm going to put um, these um, chevrons. I've got that chipboard arrow again that I pulled out um, for a previous layout on the top there. So I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put those and I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to stick them down. I do peel them up and then stick them back down again but I just want to just get them down so I stop fussing. I'm going to fuss quite a lot with um, that top cluster as well. So I apologise, so I should, probably should have edited it out. Um, so here I am just going through the Amy Tangerine sticker book. Um, again, I pulled some of these stickers out previously. Um, I take this kind of journaling spot one and just add it to that bottom cluster there. Just to kind of add um, you know, a little bit of extension on. I'm cutting up that heart um, scallop circle and just adding that in two places uh, just again it picks up a little bit of the red there as well I was going to move that down but decide not to just going through the other trees of Collins paper here seeing if there's anything I can pull out I pull out that orange um, star because that goes um well with the orange colours I'm trying to pick out. The other orange um, I've got is this arrow that says smile and I don't want it to say smile so I'm going to have to cover that up. Um, obviously there's that bright um, red heart as well but I really didn't want to use it on this layout so I'm going to save that for another layout. quite like it down in that cluster actually looking back but never mind. I do want to add it to that top cluster and I'll fuss about this quite a bit so even though it's sped up it's still um, <laughs> going on and on and on. So as I s these photos are um, um, from my holiday in Scotland uh, the week before um, I went they had quite bad flooding so um, it was bad because some you know some people's houses were damaged but it did make for some like beautiful um, sites because some of the rivers were like really full and flowing like you know ridiculously fast so the, the pictures were beautiful um, but of course not for the um, the residents 
Um, so I just wanted to document these these photos. Um, I have um, done other photos um, of this kind of river section, but um, I did get a bit carried away because it was so <laughs> pretty. Um, I just took loads and loads of pictures. So uh, that's what this layout is going to be about. And I'm going to journal on that black tag just using a white pen. So still using these ones. These are um, sleigh road Christmas stickers, but I'm still trying to get them out. Just seeing what else I've got in my stash here. Trying these Echo Park stickers, um, but again, they don't work. I think I'm going to have to be quite ruthless and just bin some of this stuff because it's just not guessing on layouts. Uh, this layout took me just um, over 50 minutes to make. I think it was about 54 minutes. Just adding some black um, photo corners on there. I did order um, just off eBay the other day some gold photo corners. Um, I've really fallen back in love with photo corners um, and I can't think who it was. I saw someone with some gold ones here on YouTube um, and you know how enabling YouTube is. So I've just ordered for you um, literally, um, I think it was like 50. I don't think I'm probably going to use them a lot and I think, you know, it was free postage. Um, I think they were like less than a pound so they really weren't that much. So. I'm going to get them, so you'll probably see those in a few layouts. I pull out these cork cameras. Um, as you can see, I haven't used many of them. Um, I like them, I just... I don't know. I've seen quite a few people colour them in, so maybe that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I just don't find you get the definition with the cork, but... Um, yeah, so... I'm going to try and use those on this layout and I'm going to fuss and fuss and fuss with this top cluster um, move bits around, peel bits off I just can't it, there's not enough room really to get that everything in there so what I end up doing is using the actual centres out of some of the cameras in the end um, I try putting a bigger one up there just fussing quite a lot but as you can see here, I just pull out um, three cork um, centres and that just brings a bit of cork up into that area, um, but not a camera. So here I am just trying to find um, some of my enamel dots to go in the middle. Um, I do like the fact that the enamel dots are flat and kind of fit um, in the middle, but as you can see, I've not got many left. And I'm not going to buy any more unless they are heavily reduced in a sale, which they never are because they sell ridiculously fast. But I'm not paying five pounds for a sheet of um, enamel dots. I just think it's ridiculous. So just adding um, a little bit more of the Route 66 mist and a little bit of this classic town Mr. Huey, which is a big mistake because it. I've got shiny stickers and stuff down there and it just doesn't dry um, so I did get a little bit on my photo there which is a bit annoying I take out this um, font that I used the other day and actually it's a font that I'm kind of trying to use up at the moment so um, you're probably going to see it on quite a few layouts um, I've just taken out my heat gun here to try and dry off some of that um, dreaded Mr. Huey. I'm going to place my um, title just off um, to the right of the page here. And again, like I said, I'm just going to do my journaling on that black piece. And so that just adding that label there just kind of really added a place for that title to sit and I find that these um, thickers go really well with the um, the colour doily I did think about adding an, um, some more of the punctuation dots to those other bits but that didn't really work but I did just pull an asterisk off there and add that so yeah I think that's 
everything so I'm just going to put a few close-ups and yeah that'll, that'll be the layout so thank you very much for um, watching and I'll be back with some more process videos later this week so thank you very much bye <laughs>